Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing number one from the 2023 Calc AB and BC exams. It is a table slash working with a rate of change problem. Let's take a look. Number one, customer at a gas station is pumping gasoline into a gas tank. The rate of flow of gasoline is modeled by the differentiable function F, where F of T is measured in gallons per second and T is measured in seconds since pumping began. Selected values of F of T are given in the table. For part A, we have to use correct units, interpret the meaning of the integral from 60 to 135 f of t dt in the context of the problem. Then we're going to use a right Riemann sum with the given subintervals to approximate the value. All right, so first we have to interpret this thing. So I'm going to just write down uh, what we're dealing with, right? So the rate of flow of gasoline is f of t, which is measured in uh, gallons per second, and t is measured in seconds, right? So uh, the integral from 60 to 135 of f of t dt is going to be, we integrate a rate to get a total. So it's going to be the total um, amount of gas. Now we have to use uh, context, right? So it's the total amount of gas. I'm going to say in gallons because uh, we're pumping gallons per second. So in gallons. Um, and then we will say that has been pumped on uh, what time interval, right? So pumped on the time interval t equals 60 to t equals 135 seconds. But then in the context of the problem, those seconds represent seconds since pumping began. I don't know if you would really need the since pumping began to get credit for this. Um, but for the sake of doing it right, you definitely need it. All right, that's the first part of the problem. Now we also have to approximate this using a right Riemann sum. So we're going to start off by writing um, our integral. And then this is an approximation, so we're going to say is approximately equal to. And then we go to the table, we're going from 60 to 90, which is 30. And then a right Riemann sum, so at 90 we get 0.15. And then plus, we're going from 90 to 120, which is going to be 30. And then at the right endpoint we get 0.1. And then plus, we're going from 120 to 135, uh, which is 15 and the right endpoint is 0.05. This is a calculator problem. You should still leave this. There is no reason to simplify this. I'm going to simplify it anyway. This is risky. I shouldn't do this. I'm going to say 8.25 gallons. So that is part A. Um, let's take a look at B. Must there exist a value of C between 60 and 120 such that F prime of C equals zero? Justify your answer. So we have a table for f of t. We're being asked about f prime. This is going to be mean value theorem. Um, to use mean value theorem, though, we need to know that the function is continuous on the closed interval, differentiable on the open interval. Fortunately, in this problem, we're just told the function is differentiable in general. So if this is differentiable, uh, that implies that it is continuous. So we want to write this down because it allows us to use the mean value theorem. So differentiability implies continuity. Then I'll just say that I'm going to use the mean value theorem. So I'll say, therefore, um, by the mean value theorem, you look at the table and you can see that at 60 and 120, the y values are the same or the values of f are the same. So the slope, the secant line there will be zero. This is exactly what we need. So therefore, by mean value theorem, uh, f prime of c will equal the slope of that secant line, right? It'll be f of 120 minus f of 60 over 120 minus 60. And that, because the values of f are the same, is definitely 0. Um, and then we'll just say for some c between 60 and 120. So, so far, this is a pretty straightforward um, exam. So feeling pretty good about this. Uh, let's take a look at the next part. The rate of flow of gasoline in gallons per second um, can also be modeled by g of t, which is t over 500 cosine quantity t over 120 squared. Um, so that's kind of ugly. For 0 to 150, using this model, find the average rate of flow of gasoline over the time interval from uh, 0 to 150. All right, so uh, we've got the rate of flow of gasoline is g of t, and our question is to find the average rate of flow of gasoline. So I like to think average rate of flow of gasoline, in this case, is really asking us for the average value of the rate of flow. So anytime you see average blank, you can kind of replace that with average value of blank. Uh, so we're looking for average value, which is going to be integral divided by interval. So I'm going to write that down. It's the integral from 0 to 150 of g of t dt divided by 150 minus 0, the integral divided by the interval. 
Uh, this is a calculator problem, so I just punched it into my calculator. I have a lot of videos on how to do that. Um, so I defined the function, I found the integral, I divided by the interval, um, and I'm, I also left my cursor right in the middle of the function, so that's great. I got 0 0.095997. If you don't like rounding, just write all of that. I'm going to round this and say 0 0.096, and then uh, gallons per second. The average value of a function should have the same units as the function, although I don't think this question will require units because I didn't ask for it. So I put those in. I don't think they're necessary. Uh, let's look at the next part. So I copied part C again because part D is saying using the model for G defined in part C, um, we want to find uh, the value of G prime of 140, calculator problem, and then interpret the meaning of your answer in the context of the problem. So it's a calculator problem, so we're just going to use a calculator to find that. Uh, I found the derivative with respect to t of g of t uh, at 140, and I got negative 0 0.004909. So I'm going to say that g prime of 140 is approximately negative 0 0.005, because I'm rounding. If you don't like that, just do more decimals. You can also truncate. You have a lot of options. I always recommend that you round, because it's probably what you're used to doing. All right, we need to interpret this thing. So I have a really good video on how to interpret these. If you're interested, search for it. I'll probably eventually put it in the description. Um, so at 140, so let, what does 140 represent, right? So uh, 140 is going to be uh, the time in seconds, right? So at t equals 140 seconds, now we need to figure out what we're found. We found g prime, so we need to know what g represents because we just found the rate of change of g, right? So g represents the rate of flow of gasoline. Um, so the rate of flow of gasoline. And now we need to say, is this increasing or is it decreasing? Since we have gotten a negative value, we'll say is decreasing. Um, and then what is it decreasing by? It's decreasing by the value that we found. So by 0 0.005. And then what are the units? Well, the units of G are gallons per second and time is measured in seconds. So this will be gallons per second per second. And that's going to be our interpretation of this in the context of the problem. All right, that's the entirety of question number one. I hope this was helpful and good luck.